Watch, Mr. Heavyweight Boxing today. Hey, what's up, man? This is Chris the Nightmare Ariel, and you're watching Mission Boxing. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man, so as this fight card approaches, I'm going to be dropping a lot of little series of videos of just random thoughts that I have about these fights. Um, and right now, I have a random thought about uh, Joseph Parker and Deontay Wilder. Mainly Joseph Parker, because uh, during the presser, you know, I heard Parker bring up, you know, Tyson Fury, being able to work in camp with Tyson Fury and learning some things from Tyson Fury, um, especially as far as fighting Deontay Wilder. He has somebody that's there that he can, you know, take some pointers from. And just what he's seen, Tyson Fury, the success that Fury had in the ring with Wilder, maybe he can take some of those things away, right? But I'm just thinking, like, man, there's one thing I know we can't really take away that Fury was able to have success with, and that's the size advantage. I know uh, Parker is probably naturally, I think he's probably about 20 to 25, maybe 30 pounds heavier than Wilder, just naturally. I think he just outweighs him, all right? But Fury not only outweighs Wilder by a significant amount, but he's also a little taller. Uh, I believe his reach is a little longer. I believe so. I believe his reach is a little longer, about a couple inches. And he just knows how to fight that style of fighting where if things aren't going his way, Tyson Fury likes to roughhouse you, get you against the ropes, put his forearm under your neck, push off on your neck as the ref is helping you guys to break while you're on the ropes. He might put you in the headlock, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tyson Fury will make it rough in there for you, man. If things aren't going his way, he'll start smothering you the same way he did Otto Wallen, um, Wilder in the second and third fight. You know, he likes to implement his size. I don't think... I don't think Parker, uh, well, I know he's not as big as Tyson Fury, but I've never really seen him resort to those tactics in any other fight. So how comfortable would he be even trying to do that? Parker always comes across to me since I've been following him, man, when he first won the world title and even before that, in fights like Carlos Takam and all that. Like he's comes across like the, a fight with the White Rhino. Um, when he fought the White Rhino back in the day, he could have landed like another right or left hand before the rhino went down and Parker just let him fall. I believe it's the white, the white rhino fight. Um, so I always looked at Parker as like just a nice guy. He'll try to take your head off, but he's just a nice guy at heart. You know what I mean? But uh, he doesn't really get roughhouse with you like that. Because um, I thought he should have uh, roughhoused Dillian White back because White was trying to bully him in that fight. And I thought Parker should have showed a little bit more aggression in that fight. Not nothing out of character, but just some a little bit more aggression. Um, but I thought he did well in the fight, but he doesn't, I, I don't think he'll resort to those type of tactics in this fight. Um, I think he's going to have to try to get close range and let his hand speed go. Like I say, I always thought Parker was, has good, uh, fast hands in combination form. And I think Wilder has fast like a fast one shot like you know that that right hand is a fast punch but park i think has an edge and just overall hand speed uh punching a combination throwing hooks and uppercuts and straights um so i think he'll have to try to find a way past wilder's jab but i don't think he's gonna be able to use that from tyson fury um i think one thing he can do that fury was able to do against wilder is try to fight the fight at his pace so maybe in this fight instead of it being a you know jab one shot at a time because I think that favors Wilder because he's trying to set you up for that right hand with the jab from a distance all right or whenever whenever he sees the opening so I think maybe Parker instead of having it at that pace probably bring it at a pace where you know I'm going to outwork you with my volume now that's going to leave you open and get countered but I think he's going to have to try to up the pace fight Wilder when Wilder doesn't want to fight while fight Wilder when Wilder just wants to move a little bit and reset then try to fight him right there but you got to watch out for that one shot and be able to counter Wilder back when he, when, I, when Wilder throws that right hand, especially if he doesn't connect, you have to counter him. You have to make him pay uh, for throwing that right hand, and especially throwing it. And if he doesn't land, then he'll start thinking about getting countered. All right. But hey, man, I'm on the outside looking in. Just my view from a fight fan's point of view, man. But you guys let me just think in the comment section, what do y'all think? Uh, something that Parker will be able to take away from those Tyson Fury fights that he can actually use for himself. All right, and I think it's the pace. But y'all let me know what you think in the comment section, man. I'm gone.